Welcome to this video tutorial. I'm going to show the formation of a rip to valley uh, through the usual the, the command process. First of all, distance when crystal rocks are subjected to tensional forces. These are tectonic forces which act on either side of the crustal rocks a piece of land a block of land which is pulled uh, sideways and these forces move the crustal rocks sideways they tend to develop some stress within the rocks and uh, this stress now leads to cracking of uh, the rocks uh, this forms some lines of weaknesses known as fault basically fault lines now gradually the fault lines enlarge because of continuous stretching of the crustal rocks and they form very huge cracks now further uh, stretching of the side blocks loses the middle block of land and then it is sinks downwards hence forming a broad valley known as a rift uh, valley here the sharp ends and now the scarp slopes which develop during the formation of the rift valley and now the rift valley is fully developed um, let's now see a fully developed way through the same process uh, like I've labeled uh, I'll show now this is now the broad valley which we now refer to as a rift um, valley and here we have the escarpments that is an escarpment within the flow we can have some features like lakes rivers any other feature you can develop there now in reality this is the kenya rift valley you can see there's an escarpment there this is the flow of our rift valley it is part of the great rift valley now the kenyan section in this small image here this is a broad view of the rift valley down here and as well we have the escarpment on that side and now that is how the rift valley forms through tensional forces thank you for watching this video